Hi, this is Neil, and today we are going to apply interior automated blinds to an energy model in Open Studio. So the way to apply these is you have to apply the blind to every pane of glass. And it's it's nice that you can apply you can apply it to one piece of glass and then apply it to all the rest at the same time. And so what I'm demonstrating here on this screen is I've kind of pre-navigated to the spaces tab and all the way down to the glass level. And what I'm showing you is the finished product. And then I'll walk you through how to apply it. But here we can see I'm under subsurfaces shading controls. And a subsurface is what the glass is referred to as. And here we can see this glass in this cafe room. There's two pieces of glass. They have a shading control where it's called an interior shade. And this interior shade is controlled based on this control type called on high solar on the window. So if there's high solar radiation on the window, the shade goes down. In Open Studio, you can't modify the properties of what high solar means, you know, how many watts per square foot, things like that. Um, you could in Energy Plus, but no, you can't here. So there's different control types. You could do a schedule, but anyways, that's how. And then when you click on the shading control itself, you can then select what the shade is made of. And depending on if you had selected shade, you could pick the material here. Um, another way you could do this, instead of picking a straight material, you could actually pick a built up construction of that material. Um, here's where you could also change to be something else besides a shade, like a interior blind or switchable glass. Um, yeah, so that is the result. So how do we get here? So um, I'm going to pause for a second. And so I've opened a model that doesn't have interior automated blinds or any interior blinds. And I'll walk us through how you apply them. And we're going to do this in two steps. I'm going to go apply the blind object to Let's see, we're going to apply the blind object to each piece of glass. And then we also need to import the material of the actual blind that we're recommending, because uh, material blinds have different properties. And I'll show you how to import that and then assign it to the control that we import. So OK, first off, go to Spaces. And you have to navigate all the way down to Subsurfaces. And it will take a second to load this. Um, as we do this, uh, I'm going to hit pause for a second. So under subsurfaces, there'll then be many sub options where you can now see here we actually have doors, fixed windows. This is where you can see the properties of that window. And now we can click on shading controls, which is a sub option of this tab. And now in shading controls, you actually see all the different glass only, and currently there's no shade control. So we're going to apply a shade control from the default library. And before I do that, I'm going to check this checkbox to highlight all the glass panes. And this will take a second. You can see everything will go gray for a minute as it checks all these boxes. And we're going to do this so we can then use this button that's here at the top, apply to selected uh, when it comes back here. So. This is how we're going to apply our control to all the different panes. And you'll actually see it'll be one control for all the glass, uh, or one, well, one configuration. So I'm going to go to Library, where you should have the default libraries for Open Studio, which has the objects we're going to be looking for. And we're going to scroll down. I'm pretty sure it's near the bottom, or it is the bottom. Shade Control. And here, Shade Control 1, you're just going to drag this. Click, hold down, drag, and drop over this dashed line, and then release. See if it takes. Oh, looks like it is. Once that comes up, the very next thing we need to do is now hit Apply to Select. And you really need to do this before any other step. Open Studio only remembers this last step that you just did when this button is active. So 
yeah, uh, order of operations uh, matters for this. So once we apply this to all the glass and it's loading now, this is a bigger building, uh, you can go ahead and uncheck this all button. From here on out, uh, we'll be applying, looks like it didn't apply to every single thing. Um, we'll be, you can change the properties of the shade control one and that shade control one is the only object in our file. There's only one functional shade control now. So as I change it here, it'll change it everywhere because all of these are referencing the same shade control object. So we can see here, if I change this to interior shade, they all change to interior shade. Uh, over here, we can see if I was to change the properties, um, it would do it for all of them. So now that I have it applied, um, I want to import the actual cloth material that I would like to use. So I'm going to go ahead and save this first. And then to import the material, I'm going to go into constructions. And there's a couple ways you could do this. You can go down to materials. You could, if you have a model that has a shade cloth you would like in it, you could always load that. And I don't think I have one loaded. But if you did, if you had gone to load library and then selected a model that had your had like an older model that had the shade element you wanted, you would then be able to expand it how we are here. So here it would load in this library. And then similar to how we see blind window materials, it would be available under shade window materials. Um, I'm not going to do that now just because it takes a little bit more time. So under shade window materials, I'm going to hit a new one. I'm going to jump back to my old model where the material did exist. And in truth, it might be easier for us to do this demo where we apply it because there are lots of properties. But um, so you can see here, this is my shade window material. It has different solar transmittance and reflectivity, invisible transmittance. And so we essentially need to, you can see these are all the defaults. So you just need to copy over all these different properties uh, for this, this shade cloth. And these are published. If you go to different uh, manufacturers, one manufacturer would be uh, Mecco Shades, Makes Blinds. Um, you can find the properties of transmittance, reflectance, and visible transmittance. Um, and that is how you would then the rest would turn into heat. Um, that is how you could then get um, adjust these to do an analysis of what type of cloth to recommend. So we're going to go back now that we have this material in our model. We have to wait for it to load, so I'm going to pause. And then at the subsurfaces, we'll click on shading controls to go to the actual shading controls for all the glass. And now here again, we can click on this object. And now we're going to change this to be shade gray, low energy that I named it. And we're done. So that now is controlling the blinds. Um, this is fairly simple. This is a very simple control. Um, if you want to study things, obviously you could change the material, do parametrics on materials. If you wanted to understand the exact control and where to set a threshold of uh, you know, incident solar or, or some other mechanism, you would have to go to Energy Plus and there's great documentation on this and you can even find this object in the Energy Plus input file and you have more parameters you could be able to change there. All right, that's it for now. I'll talk to you later, thanks.